everybody. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to go from this standard kind of boring looking slicer to a fully dynamic color picture image slicer. And we're going to work through basically how to manipulate the images, how to bring them into the slicer, and um, how to configure those buttons. So let's jump into Power BI and see how we do this. Um, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to need to find a source for pictures. And ideally, the best thing is if you can find a source that is the same size or that can be cut down to the same size. I use Snagit. And what you can do with Snagit is you can create a fixed region and that that fixed region will not be in a set position. And so it'll basically open the same size window everywhere on screen. So you can take really standard size um, screenshots of a bunch of different thumbnails. And I'll show you how this works. So just hit the hotkey and you'll see it creates that, that window that's kind of the perfect size for these pictures. So we'll just take a snap and then we'll name it. And, and save that. And then we'll just do the same thing for all of the other pictures that we that we want to take. Okay, so now I've saved all four pictures that we need in the same size and format. And so what we want to do now is we want to pop open a utility to take the backgrounds out. Because you can see here in the pictures that we've got different backgrounds. We're going to want to make that standard. So there's there's a, a program I use, a free program called Remove BG. Um, for Windows, there's also a, a version, a free version on the website. Um, you can do this through Photoshop. You can do this through, um, actually through Snagit. But um, I actually find that the the easiest way is through this Remove BG. Um, I'm not a I'm not an expert Photoshop user by any stretch, and so I found this is just a, a good quick way to do it. So, so we can just take and drag all these files into the into the application. And then we can choose our background options. So we can either do a transparent background, we can pick a colored background, or we can use a set design template. And I think for this case, what we'll do is we'll use a transparent background. We can always add the background color later. Um, so we just, we just click start and it'll run through and it'll take out the background and give us the transparent. And so we can close this down. And now we can pop open and take a look at the at the pictures that we've got. And so if we pop these open, we'll see that we've got our standard size pictures with the backgrounds removed. And that's exactly what we want. Okay, so the next thing we have to do is we have to go back into Power BI and we need to find a a different slicer option that will take images. And fortunately, there's a great one called Chiclet Slicer. And if we go here into Insert More Visuals, and then we go to App Source. And this is actually a Microsoft, it's a Microsoft certified visual. Um, it's one that I think provides a lot of flexibility and options. I almost think it's probably on the border of being a a standard um a standard visual um it's i think one of the most popular custom visuals out there um and we just click add and i'm not going to do that because i've already got it added in so if we click add what we'll see here is we'll see this chiclet slicer and we can now take and turn our regular slicer into a chiclet slicer and it, you'll see that it it changes it to a different configuration um, and we can click through that. But what we want to do now is we want to go and we want to look at, we've got values and we've got images. And what we need to do is a little bit more prep work in terms of getting the images in a, in a format and configured in a table that we can, we can access those directly. So the first thing we want to do is we want to go to we need somewhere to host our images. And so I've talked about this in other videos, but I use a site called ImageBB. It's a free hosting service, and it's got some really nice features, 
in terms of the ability to create particular albums. And I'll show you there's there's a direct um, style of URL that you'll need that this creates really easily and lets you copy. So what we're going to do is um, we're going to create a new album and we're going to call it Picks. Or let's call it Slicer Picks. And we're going to make it public and we can put a description in and we'll say save changes. And now we want to upload our images. And let's go to the directory where we've got those stored. And let's select all those and copy them over. We just have to drag them in. And, and then just hit upload. And now what we want to do, instead of viewer links, what we want to do is we want to select direct links. And what that'll do is that'll change the, the name to match the, the file name. And I'll show you in a minute why that's really important. So we just, we select this, we hit copy, and then we go back to Power BI. And what we need to do is we need to create a new table that we're going to link to our customers table. So we go enter data. And let's call this images. So what we want to do is just paste the information up here and we want to undo headers and let's call this URL and we'll add another column where what we want to do is we want to have a column that we can use to join to our customers table. And so what we're going to do, we could use if we, if we were tracking a, um, a customer ID number, we could do that. But what we want to do is, um, in this case, we're just going to use, we're just going to use name. And this, this could be problematic in the sense if you have two customers with the same name, but for, for this case, we're going to do it, but know that probably the best way to do this in a real application would be um, through the use of a customer ID number. And we'll just punch these names in. And we'll click load. And what we're trying to do here is just get the, get the URLs into into our customer table. And if we go to transform data, what we've got is we've got our customers table and we want to merge that with our images table. And so we'll just select images here. images. And what we want to do is merge it on the customer name and name. And you'll see here selection matches for the four rows. Click OK. And now we want to expand. And we just want to expand the URL field. And so now we've got our image BB URL link to our, our customer table, which is exactly what we want. We hit close and apply. And now we just have one more step on the, the table prep. And what we need to do is we need to go into our images here. And for the URL, we need here under data category to say image URL, because otherwise it's just going to read as, as junk. Okay, so now we, we should be in good shape with that. And what we can do is we can drag our URL into the image section. And you'll see now that this is starting to take shape. And what we want to do is we want to, um, we want to configure the, the buttons here. And so what we want to do is 
go to general and we want to have four columns here instead of three. Okay. So now we've got, we've got the buttons all in one row. And what we also want to do is, um, we want to take the images section and let's change this image split. So we want to, um, let's say we want the images to occupy 80% of the space. You see, we've got some other nice options here. So what we could do is we could, we could round off the images. Um, we could move the images from the top to the bottom below the text. But in this case, I kind of like, I kind of like the, the rectangular images above the text. So now we can, we can change our options here in terms of going into the chiclets themselves. We can maybe bump the, um, the text up a little bit. Um, we can look at our selected color. Um, so let's, let's make our selected color a little bit darker blue and our hover color, maybe like a gray. Okay. And let's make our unselected color, like a lighter gray, like the outline color. And then let's, um, let's use, yeah, let's use these rounded buttons. Okay. So now what we've got is if we, if we click, you'll see that it changes, changes our colors. We can adjust in the general settings, whether we want that multi-select or single select. Um, but that is generally the way you, you create a, um, a picture slicer. And as I say, even if it's not a, a particular use case that you've got, I think there are some interesting applications in terms of manipulation of images, um, use of the, the standard screenshot, um, cutout. And so hopefully you found that helpful and as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Hey everyone. Thanks for tuning in to Enterprise DNA TV. If you enjoyed the content covered in this particular tutorial, please throw the video a like. It really helps us and we really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Enterprise DNA TV channel. Uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators, uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use Power BI and the Power Platform. Lastly, check out Enterprise DNA's website, plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily. All the best. Take care.